Hello guys, welcome to lesson 10 of Tracer Tutorials. In this tutorial will be about using the tab control. So let's go ahead and click on the new project. I'm gonna name this lesson 10. Alright, <coughs> um, and this tutorial will be a little short though. But anyway, let's go to toolbox and add a tab control uh, on the farm. Okay, after that, while selecting it, I go up to the dock property and change this to center. Okay, now as you can see, the tap control fit with the form. Okay, also, there is two pages here um, uh, from the default. Uh, you can add more pages actually. <coughs> what you have to do is simply just select the tab control and go over here to ta add tab and click on it. Okay, so in this way you can add tab, also you can remove tab like this. So yeah. Okay, <coughs> so as you can see I have added some tabs here. So first I want to change this name. So what you have to do is just <coughs> simply select the tab control then go down to the tab pages property and then open it up. Okay, here uh, tab page 1 I'll make the text property of it to nothing. So now I have to do the same with every pages. Okay. Okay, so as you can see there are, you can actually change the tab but there is no text in it. But what I want, I want to add some image with these tab pages. Okay. Right, so to do that uh, I'm gonna use uh, image list so drag image list on the f uh, on the form okay so there is image list click on the little button and for the size I'm gonna I'm gonna use I'm gonna type 32 32 for the height and width and then uh, for the <coughs> image the image bit depth I'm gonna use select like, the depth 32 bit and I'll choose some image I'll click on the add and from the start I have five image here. I'm gonna add all of them and press OK. Okay. So this picture has been added to the image list. So now what I have to do is uh, click on this uh, tab control, then go down to the image list property, and then select the image list. Okay. Then go down to the tab pages again open it up and <coughs> uh, select uh, the first one and go down to the image index here and <coughs> now if you click on it as you can see now you can see the images here so I'm gonna select the first one and for the second one mm, okay I'll press OK. So as you can see, <coughs> I have added some pictures with this tab. So now what I want, I want to add s add a button here, actually. There we go. Uh, I'm going to select the button and I'll go over to the text property. I will change this to next. Okay, so <coughs> after doing this, um, just copy this button and go over to the blue, select the second tab and paste it here also the third tab is here and the fourth tab is here oops sorry the fourth tab is here also and <coughs> for the last tab I'm gonna add a level here actually and I'll go to the text property I'll make I'll type Alright, so there we go. <coughs> so go to the first one. Uh, just double click on the button here and type tab control one dot select oops select tab there we go. And now between parentheses you can type the tab 
um, index like tab numbers or something so the first one is 0 and then 1 2 3 4 so I'm gonna use 1 so whenever you'll click on this button it'll go to the next tab so okay and then go to the next tab and double click on this one copy this and paste it here and make it 2 for the third one 3 or the fourth okay now <coughs> let's debug it okay so we are here just click on the next and there you go next next and next okay I hope you like this tutorial and please subscribe and if you have any questions leave a comments and I will see you in the next tutorial